Today we're going to be unboxing one of the most unique watches I've ever had in on the channel for the second time. The reason being I was sent in a prototype from Attawak Watches a couple of months ago of, of one of their releases and it was sent on to some different reviewers. I have now the production model which was given to me for free and does not have to be returned to the company. I just want to be transparent with you guys. So I believe it's going to be a different color than the first one but let's get into it and see what we got. All right, so we have got a fairly large box here filling up pretty much the whole screen. I, just for the fun of it, went to, to my old school spot where I was doing my videos in the past. A lot of videos done on this tabletop, so why not today? We're heavily taped up here, but I've recently unboxed one of these, so I kind of know there's somewhat of a trick to getting into these here. And I think that is the trick. Oh, not quite. A couple of more incisions here. Did that do it? Yes, it did. Okay, just one second here. All right, so got rid of the bigger outer box. You can see we've got the Attawak logo on top. We've got an inner box here, so let's get it rid of this. What do we have here? Paperwork. Warranty card. Congratulations upon your selection of this Attawak watch. And I'm guessing this is instructions here, user manual. Cool. That's that stuff. And in the back, can't remember if we ended up with a spare strap here or not. Yes. Spare rubber strap. Quite a nice looking clasp there. So let me put this stuff away and we will get to the watch. All right, so we've got the very shiny Attawak inner box. Got a little clasp there. And here is the watch. Ooh. So the last one that I had was I believe this is a dark blue. The last one I had actually had a black case with red accents. Quite a different look with the stainless steel case. These plastics are going to be a real pain to take off. I could just tell now. So I'm going to just quickly do that off camera. And I was right. It was a mission to get the plastic off of this thing, but very cool. Taking a closer look at the watch. Now, this is my first hands-on experience with this version of it. I was thinking for some reason there was more blue accents with it, but seems to be only the blue second hand. The Well, it's not really a second hand. The running seconds, the star-shaped running seconds at the center of the dial. Of course, we have that blue rubber strap for it too, but what a different look compared to the red. The red had a black DLC-coated case. And the stainless gives it a very different look and feel. As far as time telling with these, if you've never seen an Attawak Tarantula, right now we're at 7.15. All the time telling is done at the bottom of the dial here, and I'll just advance the time. And you're going to see the 6 up here change to a 9. At the bottom of the dial, we are now at 8.30. At the top, you'll see that 7 rollover to a 10 and so on. So just a really neat way to tell the time. This is called a wandering hours and it is a very affordable wandering hours watch compared to some of the much more expensive alternatives out there. Take a look at the movement here. So I will be doing a 
follow-up video on this watch after I get a few weeks of wear, but if you want to get some of the details, I'll leave a link to my original video on the prototype in the description below, and you can take a look there. But yes, I will be doing a, another video on this watch in the coming week. So let's take a look on wrist. And here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And this wears awesome. It is a larger watch, but by comparison to even watches from the same brand, the Cobra, which has a similar wandering hour time display, that is a much thicker and larger watch. I'll be definitely giving this lots of wrist time. Again, if you're looking for some of the specification pricing, all of that, I get into that in a previous video that I will link below. So that is it for today. Really appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.